Hi everyone, this is Gabby with Outrage Productions and we're here in New York City uh, for the Photo Plus Expo 2015. And I'm here with Matt, who's representing Panasonic today, and uh, I'm actually very curious as to what's going on. What are you guys presenting today? What's your best? Well, what we're presenting here is obviously a lot of our cameras, Gabriella. Um, the GH4 is clearly our best overall hybrid photography tool, meaning best for video and for photography, melding the two together. So we've done some significant firmware updates to the GX, I'm sorry, to the GH4 that adds some really cool additional features. Um, the first of which, and the guy who's working the camera here will totally like this, is like total geek out stuff. Um, we've added a logarithmic gamma curve, which means when we would take this into post-production, I know you guys are getting excited, I see that. Um, <laughs> It gives me 12 stops of dynamic range, which is two stops more than the camera you're shooting me on yeah. right now, actually. So we get 12 stops. We better update. Yeah, 12 <laughs> stops of dynamic range out of the camera. Mm -hmm. And it's a very, very flat profile, which means when we colorize, when we, when we do what's called color grading, it gives us more room and more latitude to get a really cool look to the image. Now, now something else we've done, though, that I think is even cooler. I know these guys won't think so, but I think this is really awesome. Um, we've added an anamorphic capture function. So if anybody watched Wes Anderson's movies, Wes Anderson does a 2, 3, 9 to 1 aspect ratio, but he does it legit with a 2x anamorphic lens, which means I'm going to be able to take a twice the width that we would normally frame with, and we squeeze it into a 4x3 capture ratio. So we make everything look tall and skinny first, yeah. and then we stretch it all out. That's so incredible. you know J.J. Abrams, yes. you know those lens flares that yeah, go across the screen? Yes. <laughs> well, you can either cheat and post, or you can do it the legit way with an anamorphic lens. Anamorphic lenses are what give you that funky wide lens yeah. flare. And yeah. you know those like oval-shaped defocused areas in the background? Uh-huh, yep, yep. Yeah, well, that's, we, it. that's anamorphics. <laughs> anamorphics that. give you that. I see it already. So I kind of see it on the image that we've yeah. got. The, I see it a little curve. The actual yeah, pool so, table is slightly Yeah, so we're outputting a 10-bit video signal into this recorder. The recorder's then stretching it back out. It's applying a correction to the log profile to give us a cinematic look. Mm -hmm. This yes. can now be done on a camera for $1,700. Before this camera, the only one that was ex in existence that did this the way we do it with a 4x3 capture uh -huh. was the Arri Alexa XT, and that's 70 grand. So we went from 70 grand down to 1700. That's amazing. And our friends at SLR Magic lent us a $3,000 wow. anamorphic lens. It used to cost $30,000 for optics to do this. So for anybody who wants to get into anamorphic for the first time, we're bringing those price points way down. Now, how do you think that will revolutionize? Will it change the clientele for these cameras in terms of filmmakers? Or do you think more Hollywood-based filmmakers even will kind of take advantage of that if it's just as good? Well, I hear from Hollywood producers that the GH4 is the most flown camera in the industry now on their drones for Hollywood production. I think that this adds a further level of production capability for drone use in particular, where you, it's very difficult to bring $100,000 cameras. You're gonna have to literally hire a helicopter, not a drone, to be able to do that. Um, this allows us to do this at a much more affordable price, and I don't have to worry about damaging a rental camera. If I, if I destroy this, it's only $4,000 instead of $100,000 worth of gear. Yeah. But for the budget filmmaker who could never afford to even consider producing an anamorphic, this now makes it a real option and, it, and truly allows you to be a, you know, a master of cinematography. That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much, Matt. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Gabrielle. Thank you.